Hey guys, how's it going? Whammo here. Welcome back to another episode of Lunchtime Deads. Uh, we'll kind of spawn into a uh, clusterfuck here. Uh, I'm not even sure. This is this is hard rain, is what map this is, right? Yeah, it is. A uh, bit late in the game, actually. Surprisingly late. There's a charger. I did take off the mods. Where'd that charger go? He's still up. No, he's down. Okay, that was good. That charger could have been a serious problem had he waited for us to try and cross right there to charge us off. You coming, buddy? Mm, yes. Well, first off, let me just start off by saying thank you guys so much for watching and liking these videos, leaving comments, anybody who contributes just by watching, you know, thank you. We're friends now, basically. <laughs> so, this is pretty late in the game, and this is a shorter campaign, so judging by the scores, I would say we're just the first ones to go on this map, so... Wait, are we late in the campaign, or is this the first part of the campaign? Why do I not remember? Oh god, watch out for this elevator attack, it's always bad, there's a spitter right there, able to cut that part of the attack, definitely a big deal. Where's that hunter? Uh... Hunter and Smoker are up, I don't know where they're at. There's the smoker. Try and follow the tongue. There's a boomer back there as well. Not quite sure where that was at. Uh, the hunter may have died already. This field can be a problem. If you get all four survivors boom, it is seriously hard to see where you're going. A good idea is to pay attention where that gas sign is, though. If you keep track of that gas sign and mine this little hedge here that kind of blocks you, you can you can pretty le pretty easily make it to the gas station, either, even under the worst boom and horde and you know just basic chaos that is involved with that area of the map. I love that cornfield or. I guess it could be a sugarcane field, too. I absolutely adore that area of this game. I wish they used it more. It kind of reminds me, if you guys ever played uh, uh, PUBG, like the ending zones, if you're in like a, a one of those fields and you're laying down and you can't see anybody but you know that there are people there, it's kind of like that. It's just visually obscuring and it, it really raises the tension, you know, it gives the infected a better opportunity to attack. And it seems like, you know, people seem to think the game is skewed towards the infected, but I, I much prefer when, you know, it's it's like that. Especially with pubs, it's just, it makes it a lot more fun, you know, when they have more opportunities to attack. It makes it more entertaining, they, they, it gives them more angles. Oh, guys, it's been forever since I've played Hard Rain. I don't know how much I'm going to have to say about this. Um, woo, okay, this opening area, uh, not looking at any significant damage. You could get a nice boom spit stumble in this opening hallway right yonder, but... That kind of requires a little bit of coordination. It involves spawning in that room over there and walking a boomer out and having a spit in either from out the window or from, you know, somewhere else. It's it's kind of hard to pull off, but it can be extremely good. Uh, I don't know if they're going to do that. I might just try and jockey when the spitter goes and see if I can't drag someone through the spit. Mm, not going to work. Uh, spit separation works, just not on green survivors with no horde. It's a good idea. The infected in this game are awfully chatty. I'm not sure how much I like that. Boomer did go and get two of them there. Spitter should be recharged here in about 10 seconds. We may wait to go in on that. Looks like Hunter is waiting. That's great. I'm going to go in right after that Hunter. Wait for this. And right here. Here we go. Great spit. Able to... Uh, I couldn't quite block the guy, but that guy's going to be stumbled in the spit for a minute. Able to slow him down a little bit so he takes more ding. There he goes down. Great start. Why haven't they killed me yet? Okay. <laughs> there we go. All right. So that's the name of the game, is just clogging up this hallway in the initial starting area. They kind of made a mistake by backing off in here when they first came out of the safe room. Uh, they read that spitter attack and then they let the spitter recharge because they heard the other spawns out there. Ideally, you would have came out and hopped out this window. I mean, this area right here is not great to attack in outside. So while that charger got in and up the stairs, holy shit, I missed that come in, but holy crap, I can't believe he got it off. That said, he was by himself. Uh, not great. It, it is extra damage, but it's still not great. That is the wrong safe room door, Whammo. What are you doing, you fucking idiot? There are quite a few hunting areas in here. Actually, you can get a nice pounce from the top of this building if you can make it up there. Where's the crawl? Oh, I thought there was a crawl over here. See? Guys, Rusty, haven't... Oh, boy, I thought I could crawl up that. All right. All right, look. They haven't come out of the safe room yet. We're still good. We're fine. Get off the tree, please. Can I jump up there? Ugh! Yes, I can. I knew there was a way up here. I just wasn't sure how to do it. Uh, with just the jockey up, we might want to just wait. Yeah, oh, there's a spitter there. That actually... If he spits in there, I'm going to go in. Oh, shit, I missed the fucking window. There we go. Got the good pounce on Nick again, actually. The get-up should be perfectly timed with the spit to have most damage. Yes, okay. Great, 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 great. Good damage off that spit. Nick is down a kit, at least. He's probably not going to heal, given the amount of pills on this map, but... Uh, the more medkits you can take out early on in this campaign especially, the better, because you kind of get further in here towards where the witches spawn, and it, it gets a little bit hairy in here. There are a lot of infected spawns, and it just, you get a lot of opportunities for separations and good booms. Oh, uh, okie dokie, this area here, you may see a tank. Uh, it's, it's pretty common in this area. If this charger looks like he's going to go in, I'm going to boom on that. I don't know if he will, though. Uh, ee, mm, it's kind of a rough area. There's not a lot of standing horde out here. 
They are on laser sights, and it looks like they have at least two people on snipers. Yes, they do. Charger would probably be a good idea to wait for that hallway there, and... Yeah, mm, we might have to just burn this combo. I don't know if it's a great combo. Charger, are you going to spawn behind and charge in, or what are you going to do here? Yes, he is going to spawn behind and charge in. Going to be able to get a nice jump here. Walk this in. I'm going to walk it in. I'm not going to boom. Going to boom late. Mainly because I was going to try and get that charger to recharge, and I knew my explosion radius would be good enough to hit everybody. Coach was focused on the charger. I knew I could get that in there. Just That was just, you know... It's... What, are the, what do they call that? Uh, Risk-reward scenarios right there. Uh, they did burn a molly up front, but they have tons of throwables on this map. Uh, Hunter and Smoker look like they're going in in tandem here. Hunter may be a little late, but able to cover still because Rochelle is getting Nick up. Good damage coming down right there. Smoker is going to get a few dings. That's great, great, great play by these guys so far. Good teamwork. Spitter up here, he's probably, uh, he might wait for me. I hope that he does. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get in position quickly enough to play off, fuck, to play off this, uh, this hit here. Damn it, why, Whammo? Are you such a bad person at playing this game? All right. Uh, we're just gonna wait for the other spawns at this point because there is no reason to drop this in right now. Need to get up on this right here. There we are, okay. Now I'm gonna have ample opportunity. Assuming that spitter has a spawn, we can wait for the infected to come in. Ooh, if that boom can go off somewhere, this would be beautiful. Boomer, you need to get moving, bud. You need to be here. What are you doing? Okay, that's that might fuck this area here. Gonna go for a dual cap in the back here. Jockey should be able to go. I did land on someone. Fucking hell, I clicked too early. Stupid whammo. Stupid, stupid. I'm gonna try and save this. Uh, normally I would suggest you don't do this, but I am gonna try and save this because he did go down right there and they're not gonna be in a position to get him up anytime soon. Uh, Rochelle may come for me. If she were smart, she would do it before I had my charge back. She's not smart. Gonna be able to get this. Hopefully with a good scatter. Yes, able to get a scatter too. Uh, alignment there. I didn't flick that, I just lined it up. Uh, that 10 points of damage that you get for that scatter there is gonna make a big difference, especially, uh, once we get later in this campaign and we start running out of health, it's gonna be it's gonna be important to make sure you get all the damage you can. Jockey did scratch before he jumped there. Something you don't see a lot of jockeys do. I had to take a breath there. Oh my god, so much going on with these attacks. These are great attacks, great examples of of good teamwork. We're just we're just regular pubs who who, you know, don't have any communication, but they can tell what the other person is doing and play off that. Smoker probably ooh, hmm, they're on laser pointed ARs. That probably won't do much, yeah. Uh a bit of a misread there by that smoker, but that's alright. That's not going to hurt the team a whole lot. Smoker not being a super valuable asset in this area here. Uh, another heavy tank spawn we're coming into now. Mm, might be able to get something with this hunter and boomer if I can get a decent spit. Depends on how their spawns are. Where is that witch? Not in a good spot. That's fine. Uh, there are windows here that I can spit through, I believe, right here. Yes, there it is. Uh, mm, I don't know if it'd be wise to go in that corner unless you get a decent rocket boom, but they're probably gonna be watching this. You need a hunter first. Ooh, rocket boom did hit that ladder. Is he gonna be able to back it off and save it? No. Uh, that was a good idea. A great idea. That ladder is a bitch, though. I have hit that ladder before. Hunter is going in. Might be able to get a spit on that. It's not gonna do a lot of damage, but it will hit him, so it'll start damage immediately. Definite plus. Able to get a scratch and slow him down just a little bit more. Jockey is in. Ah, see Jockey iframes right there. Uh, I was talking about it last game. Jockey has some weird iframes with its death. I don't know... I don't know if it's intended or if it was a bug that they just never fixed. Maybe nobody ever brought it to their attention. Uh, where are you standing at, Witch? Mm hmm. No. Uh, they can probably avoid that. There's the tank spawn. Relatively late. Uh, that is a relatively late tank uh, in this campaign, all things considered. Let's see if I remember how the fuck to get out of here. Oh, yes, I remember this area now. Eh. Nope, he's not going to jump in. He's not stupid. Do I have infected spawns? I do. Which means I should be able to do something here. Able to... Gonna be able to down Nick, I think. That's gonna be a plus. They're gonna just fucking melt me with their guns. That's fine. I should be able to back out now. Oh, I'm so slow when I'm getting shot. There we go. Boomer did go, but he did not get anything decent. I should be able to rock Rochelle from here. Ooh, Boomer did land on Rochelle. Don't see this rock coming. Wow, it hit the infected. Fuck me, boomed infected. Suck. Yeah, rocks can hit infected when they're under boom. Ah, oh, shit, it hit the, hit the uh, ramp there. Gonna keep this tank alive for right now. It's okay that they got him up. Uh, if I can keep this tank alive, it's definitely a plus. Just for little hits, little hits. And they're rushing me around now. That's fine. Gonna push me all the way around into these guys. I still have a decent amount of health, at least enough to chip these guys down. Shit, I missed that. No, I didn't. They shot him down. Keeping it alive, keeping it alive, keeping it alive. Letting my infected have time to get in. Uh, Spitter did go. Gonna keep him down for a little bit longer. Uh, there is a double pile here. I'm gonna just melt this. Yep. Let the infected get in. That's fine. Uh, ideally, that would have been a dual cap, and it looks like it may have actually been. Hunter is probably gonna get cleared, though. Uh, it was a dual cap jockey hunter. The dude with the jockey is- Give me my fucking view! The dude with the jockey is mm, not gonna go down. The jockey just doesn't do enough damage. Uh, 
That was a good try. I just, I may have gone in a little bit early on that tank. Had I waited for a split second before I went in and attacked that group, they would have had the good dual cap right there. Because the grounded survivors would have been shooting through me to hit that hunter, but... Uh, timing is difficult when you don't have a team yelling at you in the ear. Now, I may be able to get a separation pull here, given how slow they are, if they drop immediately there. Not gonna drop. Charger... Oh, he's gonna be spawning. I thought he was in there. He was not. He did get a good scatter charge, though, and it may have given some damage. Yeah, but like I said, they have... They have good pills. Uh, they're all going to have a lot of health. The witch is not in a great spot to be hit. There are two of them. Uh, second one is not going to be an issue either. Boomer spawning in the room. Uh, looks like Coach knows he's there. Going to block that spawn or at least block the hit. That's a plus. Boomer's not going to be able to do anything in there. He needs to get out and despawn that. Uh, looks like we're going to have to wait. See what I get. Hopefully, uh, I was going to say hopefully a charger, but that wasn't going to happen. Uh, if we can hit the back here with one of these caps or one of these movers, it would be fantastic. <clears throat> Jockey is trying to do that. He did miss, though, unfortunately. Oh, that sucks. That could have been great. Oh, he did get a witch trigger. Uh, that surprises me. It uh, looks like she's freaking out, though. Doesn't know exactly where to go. Gonna spit this hunted guy over here. That may have been where the witch triggered. No, it wasn't, but it was good damage with the hunter-spit combo. Boomer did go on coach, stopping the clear. It looks like, uh, uh, what is that? It looks like Ellis went down over here. Um, I'm actually gonna bring the spitter over here and try and get this guy in a corner with it. That's probably going to be what I should do. Yep, able to get that guy in the corner. Jockey is holding there. Boom! That's how you do that. That was nice. That was extremely nice. I love it when a team can play like that. I don't know who these guys are, but they exceeded my expectations. Uh, from the last game to this game, fucking quantum shift in ability to play the game. Ooh, makes me giddy. I love it. Love it! Ooh, that load time was really long. That's never a good sign. That means we may have had a few, if not all, of the people on the other team leave. Gun selection here is decent for tier 2s, uh, hmm, the 1.5 sniper instead of the tier 2 sniper, that's actually surprising. Uh, we have the gas now, so we gotta walk back through that when it's, when it has little downpour sections. Although, we may not even be doing that. <laughs> this game, we wrecked those guys last round, honestly, I mean, that, that was a, oof, we were doing a serious amount of damage for how far in the map they did. It's not like they were, they were playing bad or anything, just the infected was just, it was good play on the infected side is all that was. Uh, let's go ahead. Yeah, there are some people in here now. See if we can do this. Uh, this cornfield again, same way with, or I guess sugarcane field. Same way that it was last time, uh, except this time it's a little more difficult. Good combination coming in there. Hunter just didn't land. Able to get a good clear by officer. Oh, I thought he killed him. I guess not. Boomer is spawning behind the generator unit there, only getting one. Uh, like I've said, the one boomed is actually not really helpful to the infected side because everybody can keep him cleared and nobody takes risk from the horde, although it does stop us here because he's not trying to push forward. Although this is a horde heavy area, so I don't really blame him. Now he should be moving though. There we go. Uh, you'll notice I did take a shotgun. Uh, regardless of the fact that this is a long range clearing area, you you need to have somebody on a shotgun and it may as well be me. Uh, Charger up in front, I'm gonna listen. If you've ever played Realism Versus in this area, it is a fucking nightmare. Seriously. Like, you have no outlines, first off, and you take stupid amounts of friendly fire damage. Oh, I thought that was behind me for some reason. Was not... Yep, able to clear that. Uh, yeah, you lose outlines... Oh, fucking stupid ground zombies. You lose outlines in this area, it is very easy to become discombobulated. <laughs> just I've wiped teams in here in Realism Versus, actually. That's how I started out playing this game. Uh, somewhat competitively, pseudo-competitively, was in Realism Versus, and it was good. It was fun. That was, you know... There's a boomer up there. I am going to pop that because it needs to wear off before we get to the top. Uh, they're probably going to say why, but I would rather pop that boomer here than worry about it up top when the charger and everything else is in. We're going to be able to clear all this infected right here. See? All that boom infected is going to wear off almost immediately. Now we need to watch for this attack. We have outlines back. Oh, rushing straight into that is not advised. There goes the charger. Did not make it off that ledge. He must have hit the wall there. Great charge. Great charge spot. It, oh, <laughs> just barely. It may have been just a little askew and didn't quite make it through. There is a drop path over here. You can drop down. I gotta remember where it's at, though, because I haven't played this game in fucking ages. Oh, my God, almost missed it. That was fine. There we go. Okay. Uh, we need to get out. Whoa, what is this guy doing way back there? Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. Land on the railing. Oh, you didn't land on the railing. Bad move. If you don't land on that railing, it's a difference between 40 damage and, like, no damage. So, gotta land on that railing. Taking the fast path. Uh, surprising. You, you don't really see that very often with pubs. I'm gonna shoot that tongue because I don't need him to be pulled back being the last guy. You need to hurry up, bud. Last guy in the line, you don't need to be turned around shooting things. Kill that spitter. Uh, they're infected is staggered now. They're staggered on the infected and spawning behind us. Can I shoot through this thing? Guess not. It's not great. I'm gonna drop down here with him and help him with this horde. I don't know if 
I don't know if he got boom two or not. There is a boomer standing next to me. I need to be aware of that when I'm swinging my pan around recklessly. Uh, I'm not sure where he went. I kind of lost track of him there in the beginning. Should be fine. Just worry about keeping my health high. That's all I got to do. And hopefully, nope, he isn't staying up with me. Did clear the smoker by himself. That was a great self-clear there. Actually, coach may have done that. I'm not sure. Fantastic, though. Uh, good awareness. Great awareness. Great positioning by my team here. Uh, do to do. Gonna grab this tier two sniper because I do hear a tank. Also grabbing this baseball bat because I hate that fucking pan. We should probably back up or rush one or the t one or the other. We we really don't want to take the tank right here. Uh, looks like we are pushing. Uh, boop boop boop. Tank. Yeah, might get a little bit angry about that. Tank cannot jump up that when he's down on that side. So we we need to keep moving forward. If everybody's here, we need to move. Tank is rocking. That's fine. Able to get a little bit of chip on him. He can jump up here and hit us. Yeah, just like that. But uh, it, it, it limits his ability to do that. We are slow in the water. We're going to be slower than the tank in the water. For sure. It looks like we're splitting and running up front. Going to save one round. Shoot that rock. There we go. Coach did go down in the back. Get out of my way, zombie. God, I hate this tier 2 sniper. All right. Uh, mm, I have a couple options. Tank did go down. Okay, we can save this guy. Uh, we're going to leave the guy in the front. Hopefully that doesn't pounce me. Yeah. Don't get capped. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. What do you cap by in the front? Is there another hunter on him in the front? Fucking AIs. See, this is why you don't split and run. I mean, mm, not a great option right there. Did die from that, but he made it fairly far in the map. That's going to give us, you know, I, we probably lost 40 points because of that. Uh, assuming we make safe room. Uh, against two people, I would assume we'd make safe room, and then this game will probably be over. Oh, boy. I do not remember this map. I haven't played it in ages. Jeez, I love it, though. I love this map. Nobody ever plays it anymore because it's considered to be one of the harder survivor maps. Uh, going to do this separation here. Uh, looks like... Uh, yeah, no, he didn't know where to go. That's fine. Mm, fuck, I don't have a lot of options here. I can't move forward and I can't go back, so I need to just wait. Uh, yeah, best to wait here where I can be cleared. Uh, I probably should block this spawn, actually. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Now I'm thinking. Now I'm using my noodle. All right. That that went a lot better than it could have. Uh, if we can get out. Yep. Okay. No, we're fine now. Had that guy not rushed. Where's that charger? There he is. Not going to do a whole lot. God, I hate this tier 2 sniper. There's a smoker. I thought that was a boomer. There's the boomer. I heard the boomer and I was like, I thought it was a smoker. Uh, horde in here. Not going to be a big deal. I have two survivors in front of me that are green that can shoot it. And we're right in front of the safe room. So it didn't really worry about popping that boomer. Uh... Great round, barring the dude who ran. Uh, a tank right there with no support is not a hard tank to kill. Uh, when mine came in last round a little bit late, the only reason it worked well is because of the infected support. I came in when that guy was charged and low, and I was able to put him down and force the survivors to be where I wanted them to be. But when they got four green survivors, it's very hard to tank in that area. Very hard, even with the rain and the, uh, you know, the slowing water on the ground. Now then... <clears throat> I can't if I can if my voice can make it through this uh, Charger boomer in here. We might be mm, We might be better off waiting for the field considering we have two movers and a boomer uh, Or three movers rather. I don't know. Why did I say two? Uh, you can get some crazy separations in that field and like I said wipe teams even if it's not realism with the boomer outline taking away is is critical though Spawns are a problem in that field, though. That's the only thing that makes it hard, is getting spawns, because you have to walk in the charger and the... And the uh, oh, I'm a spitter, not a jockey. Why do I always do that? Why do I always think the spitter is a jockey? It's the hands. See, the jockey just has beautiful nails that he gets manicured, and it just looks like... It just looks like a jockey. You know? Okay, that changes the game a little bit, actually. That means we're going to hit for damage here, as opposed to separation attack in the field, because... Eh, you kind of need three movers. They are waiting for four. They don't have four yet, so... I'll, I'll come back to you when they have four. Oop, looks like they did open the door and the boomer did spawn, so that means we're going. Need to wait for that charger to get in there. Charger, if you want to go in, now's the time, bud. You're going to go back door? Go back door, then. Get the spawn. Get the spawn and get in. Oh, that was great. I'm not sure if my spit was good. I think it may have been, though. Yes, it was. Entire room coverage there. Ooh, he did slide out from that infected. That sucks. Oh, man. That could have been good. Could have been good. It was a great charge and a good setup, but it just... He slid out of the room with the infected sliding him. Uh, the bot is going to be way in the back. Smoker might be able to capitalize on that. Uh, they are on shotties. Looking for this pullback. Is it going to happen? No, just slightly out of range, Smoker. Slightly out of range. Survivors are not going to have good vision in this field. If we can get hunter cover, hunter cover, we might be able to make this happen. Uh, is Smoker going to be useful here? Smoker, get him, get him, get him, get him, grab him, grab him. Come on, Smoker. Shit, how the hell am I taking fire? Damn, that was a good shot, considering you can't see in this field. Uh, okay, did get a good smoke. 
Uh, am I going to be able to spit that? Uh, yes. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Uh, am I dinging? Yes, I am dinging. That's great. Okay. Want to get this spitter killed. Uh, we need to cycle for that charger for the top of the for the top of the elevator there. Great attack, but it's over. Uh, did down Nick. Um, shit, it might be another hit in this field. Smoker does keep Nick down for another cycle. That's great, 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 great. I cannot believe he saved that smoker. I don't know how that happened. Uh, Jockey is up. Like I said, spawns are limited. Y you're kind of limited on spawns in here just because of this. You only don't have basically this bush. But it's still a great area to attack. There, got a charge. And now I have to decide whether or not I'm going to save it. Ooh, boy. That's mm, no support in. I'm going to save it. Going to save it. Uh, you can't get around through this way. That guy went the wrong way. That's why he got pinned back here. Like I said, you can get lost in this field real easily. Need to get this charger up there and get a good spawn. This is going to be critical. I might actually stop talking when I try and get this charge because it's going to be very, very hard to do. Especially since I haven't done it in ages. Uh, you can hit for spit damage inside that elevator, actually. If they wait too long and the spitter's ready for it... Okay, no. Spitter does just spit the bottom of the elevator. Uh, they are going to just rise out of that. Now. Oof. Here we go. Haven't done this in a very, very long time, and it really... It's hard to read how they might come into this. I need another Infected to support this, and Smoker's not going to be there, so... It's going to have to be a late spawn and instant charge. Here we go. Oh, go! Oh, God damn it! That was so close! Um, I did take a lot of health hit from that pan. Uh, I kind of misread. I thought they were going to rush. It's been a while. It's been a while since I've done that. Uh, Nick kind of fucked up there, though. He sh really shouldn't have been doing that. Ooh! Barely, barely missed that smoke. Right to the edge. Do have a jockey though, so another movie. Jockey should ooh, jockey should have waited. Um, not a great spot to attack alone with a jockey. Uh, a ledge or a separation attack would have been a lot better there. Need to see what this next combination is. Oh boy, mm, 20 second spawn timers are not great. Smoker able to get a hang on Rochelle, attacking the bot. Not that bad. Oh god, Charger in this area can be deadly, deadly, deadly good. Charger, you need to go. You need to pick a spot and go. Do that. Oh, just a bit too late on that. Fuck me. Okay, that's fine. Able to hit Nick there. Uh, it's not going to do anything though. Fuck. I missed that. I, I thought he was going to go for the guy that was getting the guy up on the ledge, which is what he should have done, honestly, but he didn't. He hit a different guy. That's fine. It's fine. It wasn't dumb. I mean, that was a, that was a great idea. Uh, you should have scattered, though. You should have aimed for the, the lineup. Uh, if you go for just shooting into the group, it doesn't work. Spitter Boomer, not good dual support right here. This is such an open area that they're going to be not confined at all, and we're coming into a tank here, so we're going to need that Boomer in the next cycle. Might be able to get a separation pull on this dipshit in the back, who's really separated. Jockey does get a jockey there. Can I... Oh, and they spawn the tank. That's not great for them. Uh, is there going to be somebody coming back for this? Looks like this guy is. Is going to have cover. He's not. Uh, come here, you. There we go. Going to pull him down. Uh, yep. That's... He's going to have cover, though. Well, maybe. Maybe not. Uh, Ellis is... Ooh, Ellis is in range, but he's not shooting. Getting pistols from Rochelle on the ground. It's not going to be enough to kill me in time. Got two down in the back, and tank is not fucking moving. Oh, boy, that's irritating. Their tank is moving, running the wrong way on the map and throwing rocks. Not a good idea. He needs to be pushing these survivors. He needs to be pushing these survivors and dictating where they run. He cannot let them get around him in that area. That is not what he wants to have happen. I'm not despawning this because the run back would have been too long. I'm hoping this tank is smart enough to push these survivors back. Tank does get biled. He's going to lose vision. They could run him. This could be a run. Not gonna happen. It looks like Tank does get a few good hits. Uh, jockey may be able to save that. Yes, he is able to save that. I'm gonna go ahead and try and body block this Jockey as much as I can. No, nope, Tank is gonna decide that that's not how he wants to play it. Alright, fine, whatever. Able to down him right there. Now, it's... Mm, a lot of things happened there that could have been done differently that may have really, really swayed how that game was played. They left the guy in the back first off. Not a great idea, but that may have been down to just not seeing him and maybe just being irritated by him in general. Uh, they spawned the tank and then biled the tank and didn't run him. If you bile a tank, you need to either run him or have some kind of contingency plan to deal with that horde that's going to come in on that bile. It's the same thing as if you were to boom or get boomed during a tank. It's going to fuck you one way or another once that bile wears off on the tank because then you've got a bunch of hur a bunch of horde that disperses. Now, if you're shooting that horde off the tank, then there's no point in biling the tank because that horde damage is pretty significant if you let it just hit the tank. And it's extremely hard for a tank to deal with Horde that is hitting it, you know, in a big circle and it stops it almost on the spot. So ideally when you buy a tank, you either split and run or you just let it take the Horde damage and you deal with the SIs that are coming in. My two cents, that's just how I've seen it be played and I think it works really well. Into this map, uh, I'm surprised there's anybody still here, honestly, and this video is getting extremely long, so what we'll a skip to the end screen, huh? I doubt there's going to be much more happening here. Wow. Wow. Oh, uh, mmm. I could, oof. 
I can make a highlights reel off of all that shit that just happened right there. We had a tank in the late game there, and he was just bad. Oof, boy. All right. So, yeah, able to make that entire map. Really nothing major happened uh, aside from the tank, and we got split up a little bit, and then I dragged the tank away, and we made it in the safe room. No big deal. Yeah, this is a war of attrition at this point, and I think I'm just going to cut it here and just finish out the game. I'll, I'll let you see the end screen, but thank you guys so much for watching. Seriously. I appreciate you guys watching this video. I'm not going to slur my words all bad. I've had a few beers. It's all right. But again, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Yep, see, there it is.